guys, we are here for the last panel. I know this is very sad, but the last one, but we saved the Pokemon panel for last, and we're very excited to have the OG Jason Page with us. OG, OG, OG. The voice of Ash, Sarah Nadichene. And the King Pokemon himself, Gary Hayes. Give it up for the king, king. Give it up for the king, king. Give it up for the king, king. Gary King, Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. What we are here to do again is we're going to have the audience come right up and ask anything and everything about Pokemon. But first off, have you guys had a good weekend? Well, oh, yeah, it's been incredible. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you. We love it when there's twice as many people in a small space. Yeah. It's great. So you guys are bringing great energy. Thank you all. All right, so any Pokemon questions, feel free to come up to the mic and line up. Here we go. The first question. The first question. How does it feel to have background music and you're going to ask a question? <laughs> go ahead. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, so, I was just going to ask what your guys' personal favorite Pokemon is. I don't have favorites, I have experiences. They're all valuable, and if we limit ourselves to one Pokemon, then we eliminate all the other value that all the other ones have. So I have experiences. I did have a really good experience with Mr. Mime in the movie, though. But not a favorite, because I've had bad experiences with Mr. Mime. So there, if I had a favorite, you know, then I would... You get the point. Interesting. Uh, I agree with this, actually. Uh, but uh, Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. Pikachu is cute. It's the name of my cat. Love uh, oh, Pikachu. Very nice. Pikachu. You got a cat named Pikachu? Of course. Oh. Look at him. He oh. looks just like him. Beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous boy. He's a rescue cat. He's gorgeous. But yeah, Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. I also love Meltan if you want a, you know, an answer that's not Pikachu. <laughs> Well, of course, most people connect me with Charizard, and uh, certainly I have a collection of Charizards that would deserve to be my favorite, but interestingly, my favorite Pokemon and artwork is from the base set Venusaur. So Venusaur is actually my favorite Pokemon, uh, even though that seems to surprise a lot of people because of my connection to Charizard and being known, you know, for my Charizard collection. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? My name's Ben. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, thank you Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. What's your name? Alani. Alani, can I ask a question? What's your question? I just had a simple question. Do you guys watch the Pokemon series yourself? Like any of the... I saw the Pokemon series in 1998 in Japanese, right before we sang the theme song session. We got to see what, the, what it was, didn't understand what was going on, and since I've done my research and uh, watched some episodes so that I can say that I've heard this So he can say that he voice. heard yeah, he exactly. yeah. And not be so ignorant about it, yeah. I, just, I only sing your song at karaoke like every week, it's fine. Uh, yes, I do. I watch every time they drop a few new episodes. I watch a little bit of it just to like make sure I'm still on track, you know? Make sure I like still know what I'm doing. Um, and then I probably fizzle out. Yeah. I don't watch the whole thing because I've seen it. Like I watch it as I do it. So I know what's going on. So. <laughs> me, so and yeah. my, me and my sons, especially back there in the beginning when they were like eight, nine years old in that range, we would pile up on the bed every single episode lie there, watch these guys, and just, just love it, just love it to death, and, uh, and yeah, that never stopped, you know, we, uh, you know, that's like the, one of the most important things we shared together was our experiences with these guys in Pokemon back then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you for that question. Thank you. That was a really good question. Next Ash. up, next up. Hello. Yeah, Ash, in the house. What's your name? Jaden. All right, Jaden, come on. 
pretty sure your so name is Ash Ketchum. So this is mostly for Sarah and Jason, but how did you find your like voice for the characters? Or like the song for Jason? Um, well, there there's a brief that goes out when they create the song. They they have an idea of what they want the song to sound like. And in, what I remember is it was a 14-year-old a to 17-year-old young rock kid sound. And that was obviously the character of Ash. So I created that sound because I, I kind of had that sound anyway in my natural voice. And I had done sessions that were young rock kids and they knew I could do that. So. That's uh, that's kind of how we patterned it after the the voice of, of what Ash hadn't even been voiced yet, yeah. but the idea that it'd be a, like a 14 to 17 year old young kid. That's so cool. I nerd out to him a lot. Um, I was called upon to replace the previous voice, so I had to match that voice. That's what happens when that happens. And. Um, at first, I was very much matching her, and then over time, it just kind of developed into more of my own thing, and that's the Ash Ketchum you're hearing today. Thank you, thank you so much. Great, Great question. question. Hi, bud. What's up, dude? Next oh in line, what's your Ash, name? Little Ash. Um, Leone. All right, welcome, welcome. What, what can we do up? for you? Um, so, um, what's, your, what's your favorite type of Ash? Like, like My favorite Ash? Like, yeah. Which series? XY. XY, XYZ, he matured, he got so tenacious and so, like, the whole series was so dramatic. I loved it. That's my favorite hash. Cool question. Thank you, thank you. Good job, man. And you are? What's your name, bro? Wait. Get that, get that mic, get him right. My name is Damien, and I have a question. Okay. All right, Amy. Let's hear it. How difficult was it to voice the characters? Like on a scale? Yeah. In the beginning, I would say it was a 10 because I was really nervous that I wasn't going to get it right. And then over time, it became easier and easier. And now I'm, I'm in a very comfortable position. I'm what number like, is that now? I would say I'm at a 1 oh, now. Oh, she's already Yeah, nervous. after 16 years, though. I mean, experience yeah. Experience does the trick. And for me, so. uh, I'm voicing the character that didn't exist yet. So it was, you know, really a shot in the dark, not knowing if it was going to be the, the right voice. And what's really difficult is living up to the performance that I gave 24 years ago, because it has to be like I did it then. If I sing it too much different, then it, it'll mess it up for everybody. So sometimes it's hard, and it's especially hard before noon. So thank you for your energy today and getting me through this song. Hard to sing those high notes in the, in the early morning. Thank Good you, question. great question. Thank you, David. Sarah. Yes. For the first half of my life, every single time I lit up my birthday candles, I wish to meet Ash Ketchum. Oh. My so God. at 24, my wish has come true. Oh, ha so. happy birthday today? No, no, no. Oh, 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 are you talking about someone else? I have to go. <laughs> um, so my question is, what was it oh, like when you got that call good. and you realized that you're going to be replacing Veronica Taylor to be Ash? I, I mean, I. The only thing I thought was, oh my god, I got a job. Because <laughs> it was my first, it was my first animation job. It was my first like big show job. I'd gotten callbacks for stuff before, but I never booked anything. I was 18 years old, and um, I, I don't think I was terrified at first. I think I started getting a little bit scared when they kept like modulating my voice, being like, make it higher, make it lower, this, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not perfect. I thought you booked me. I thought you wanted me. <laughs> So that's when I got a little scary, but I was so excited. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't, th I didn't think about all this. Like, this was not at all in my own idea of what this job was. I was just like, I have a job, I have steady income. This is a really cool job. It's been on for eight years already. Like, it's a big thing, and I grew up with it myself. So I was very excited to have that. But now it's really exciting. <laughs> it's so great to meet you all. Thank you for your question. Great question. Hello, my name is Jaime. Hi. Hey, Ann. This question's for the whole panel. What is your favorite moment from the show or being a part of the Pokemon community? Uh, or, sorry? Or being a part of the Pokemon community. Community? Yeah. Well, commit this, obviously. I mean. Yes, uh, for me too. Yeah. Every, every person that comes up to my table, I, I feel like I'm able to, I'm blessed to be able to give them an experience that hopefully they won't forget. <laughs> um, and I've had that experience too. I remember, I remember meeting Diane Keaton. 
and that was a really momentous occasion. I'll never forget it. She told me I was beautiful, and that was that felt really good. So uh, hopefully, I, I do that for people. Um, in the show, I, I, there are a few episodes that I love. The very first episode of Sun and Moon, uh, where Ash got to go on stage and, and Team Rocket got to go on stage and play those wacky characters. That was really fun. Then there's some sad moments too, but um, yeah, I love the show. Yeah, this is certainly very special. You know, these Collecticons, all three of us go to all of them pretty much. And I would say, one of the most special things about it, at least for me, is that I can share it with that little eight or nine year old boy in 1999 uh, who was opening packs with me, you know, sleeping with the Charizards. And now here we are at Collecticon Long Beach and he's working in one of, the, in one of these booths uh, as a 30 year old man and we're sharing that experience together. Uh, that that is probably you know now taken over as the most precious thing that's happened to me within this community to be able to continue that bond you know with my little boy when he's a 30 year old man and so and pokemon primarily pokemon has brought us together in that way and and uh of course with the help of jason and sarah and so many others you know they uh you know they built this you know into what it is and get, given us this opportunity you're all here you're all here with special memories you know because of pokemon and related games the charmander episode gets me every time the charmander episode oh, yes. is tremendous yes we're all such an important part of this ecosystem i would say that there's no more important part the people on the show the people who are influencing the people who are doing the cards like, we're all so important and vital to keeping this alive and well. So thank you all for being here. And this community is so strong and so powerful in keeping this alive, you know? Let me say one thing. That little eight-year-old boy, when Pokemon started, is standing right over there. Devin, Devin. Devin. Put up your hand. Give us a wave. Yeah. That, that, that's, yeah. that's that little boy that... Uh, that you know got got me here and got us together. So he's not even wearing a Pokemon shirt. That's yeah, okay. he takes after his mother. That's where he got his looks. You know. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Hey. Hey, my name is Seth from Poke Pack Battle. Jason, you're a former yeah. champion. Yes, yes, yes. Poke, Poke Pack Battle. Yeah, cool. thanks for playing. Uh, my question for every, for all of you is, what is your spirit Pokemon energy? Oh. I'm definitely water. Water, I'm very into water technology and water. As we are all made of water, it is the key to health and life to have the best water in you. And drink the best water so that your water can communicate with the water that we all are. The, the oh. intelligence of water, some of water, I'm a water guy. Did, did you want a Pokemon or a type? Energy. Energy. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, fire. Don't get me mad. <laughs> passionate. Passionate. A little passion. For me, when I was younger, I would say pretty much fire also. But I think as I've gotten older, maybe a little more psychic, a little more melancholy, a little more, you know, looking at whatever the short future holds. That, so <laughs> mine's changed. Yeah, that's awesome. Good one, good one. Thank you. All right, this will be the last question for the panel. It's not to stump us. No. It's just to but again, <laughs> again, they will be over there. Look, Any questions? Can Ash ask the question? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. We got a dressed like Ash. I can't. Yeah, we'll let Ash go. No, no, no both, both of you guys. Both of you. Oh my God, please. Um, I just want to say, uh, first things first. Thank you guys so much. I grew up watching Pokemon. It's Thank you. Such an amazing show. Playing the card Thank game you. too. Me and my brother would always every every uh, morning and night. We'd just be recording it on VHS and stuff. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, I love you. I love it so much. And um, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to ask, what did you? What was your guys' opinion when they uh, continued? the show and uh, added a lot more Pokemon and just went off the original track so much. What, what what did you guys think about when they added so many more Pokemon and the X and Y and then the, um, the Super? Well, you know, things progress, you know, mm -hmm. things carry on. I, I think the subsequent generations and that 
have all added to the, you know, added to what Pokemon started as yeah. and has continued on. And, uh, you know, certainly it's hard to keep up with it all these days, you know, especially when you're a collector like many of us. Uh, because of the thousands and thousands and thousands of characters and that. But I, I think it was good for the game, and I think it continues to be good for the game to add that variety. The universe expands, so Pokemon must expand. It's just physics. You, you, if you catch them all, then, you know, then it's over. Then it's you can't have more, so you can't catch them all. You must have more. <laughs> you must have more Pokemon. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for All right, your Ash. existential question. Thank you. Hi. All right. Ash Ketcher. Okay, first off, just amazing. Yeah. Come just, closer. Um, just happy to be here and just thank awesome thank you for being, being guys here. here. Um, so I have one for Sarah okay. and then one for all three of you. That's three. all right. Um, so for Sarah, uh, what is, if you can figure out, or if you can maybe, what is one of the, the more uh, memorable or emotional scene, scenes that you've, um, you've shot uh, while voicing Ash? Can you uh, make a one off the, think you can make a one off the top of It was episode 1928, and the name of it I always forget, I don't know why, but 1928, I remember. Uh, it's the episode where a Pokemon passes away, and that entire episode is such a dra dramatic and sad arc for Ash. That, yeah, I don't want to give it away just in case somebody's not caught up and everybody's filming and, you know, I don't want to, I don't yeah, want to give anything course. away, but that happens in an episode and it's, it's, it's really, really sad. 1928. 1928. Yeah. Was that should I, should I, did I give too much away? No, that's Sun and Moon? Huh? Was that Sun and Moon? Sun and Moon, Moon? And Moon yeah, yeah. That was, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I believe Sun and Moon is like, it's, it's probably one of my favorites. It's, it's, I think it's I an it. underrated series, I believe, but. Yeah. Um, and then, okay, so one for all three of you. Um, what is your favorite gym leader? Cynthia. Is she not a gym? champion? Champion. She's, she's a champion. champion. She's not a leader. She, I love yeah. Cynthia too. Right? She's, she's amazing. Uh, I don't have a favorite. We I already discussed favorite. this before. I see. I no favorites. favorites. All good. All good. It just experiences. And I have to agree with that. I have to agree okay. with that. Especially with the gym leaders. I mean, I don't know. Uh, or just favorite character in, like, human character in general. I love Cynthia. I love, oh, I love Paul. I love Gary. And I love, um, uh, Serena. Serena. I just pulled a Cynthia, so I'm down with that. No, I would say Gary and Lass. How Gary. about that? It's funny because my name is Gary. <laughs> yes. So I always, I, I didn't hate the guy. I, I, I thought he was kind of cool. He, he's, he's got my name. He's got your name. Well, right. you're, you're one of my favorite ones then. Yes. 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 <laughs> you're my so favorite. Much. Kindred right. spirit. Thank you, Gary. Thank, thank you, Gary. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you guys so much. Thank we had great questions, great experience, and everyone. So guys, give it up for Jason, Sarah, and Gary. Thank you so much, guys. They will be over there on the other side, signing. You can come ask questions, talk to them, and just share anything else that you like. Thank you, guys.